Want to know what happens next? Mr. Crenshaw, we're here at Austin Waters Walnut Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant, yes. and he's going to show us exactly what happens next. First, Ashley, we're going to give you the essential stuff you're going to need for today's tour. You're definitely going to need those. Great. I'm Ashley Camera, and I'm on the job. Let's go. All right, Robert, so what is this? What are we walking into here? This is actually the headworks. This is the head of the plant. Oh, so when you flush your toilets, uh, so you can imagine all the nice organics that come to us and the toilet organics. paper. Is that what we're calling them? Yes, we call them. It, it seems a lot more polite to call it that. Whatever we ate comes here. So it's your pizza, your chicken, your escargot, all comes into the plant. So it's amazing what we get. We'll find money. Yeah, money. In here. Okay, so diamond rings. Diamond I mean. rings. Oh yeah. That is incredible. But the 20s, we'll find, we'll find a lot of money in here. So this is the very first place that yes. after you flush the toilet, it comes all the way down comes and it's all the way right here. Here. <laughs> People, pay attention to what you are and are not supposed to put yeah, down the, the toilet. Talk to your children about some of the stuff they flush. But this stuff, yeah. it gets into our pumps. It's awful. Oh, don't put it in there. You should trust what stage can. it's staying in. We have to clean pumps about every couple of months. And it's, this is the stuff we get in our pumps. It's just miserable. The other items that they put in, the private items, we have paper that comes in, uh, plastic comes in. The worst thing is baby wipes. And, and to think, every single bathroom you go into, they tell you what not to put down the toilet. And we put it in there. Why don't people listen? On the back wall, we have actually little collections of golf balls, you have golf toys. Balls? Back on the back wall, they do. We, well, the I can, things I can we get. get. The toys. When you're a kid, when you're a kid and you're playing with the little, I don't know. I'd prefer to do it in the bathtub, but you know, I mean. Yeah. Some people. So, what part of Austin does this? This comes pretty much here from North Austin, well up to almost uh, Cedar Park. It picks up. Uh, a vast majority of Austin, the outskirts of Austin, because you know we have three or four hundred lift stations all through the city of Austin. So we have numerous areas where this is going to come to us. So we'll have mainly North Austin as ours. Okay, and two of these a week. I, I have to yeah. say this, that kind of surprises me. I figured it would be more because Austin's grown so much. This is like a bad car wreck. I can't look away. There's a cockroach. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you remember that from the manholes. You're going to be stepping on the floor. Okay, now come over here behind me. The cockroaches tend to live in manholes no, a lot. So no, I don't remember down. that. Oh, you don't remember manhole? that one? I didn't know what was down there, and it's I didn't know. It's the occasional mouse and turtle really throws us off a uh, little bit. Oh, uh, no way. Yeah, we get turtles and mice, sometimes alive. Dad, I hope. Oh, <laughs> gosh, no. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, no, no. I'm we just going to scoot back over here, here now. <laughs> And for 27 years, you've been keeping Austin beautiful. Yes, I have. That's incredible, Robert. We clean up your water. We make sure when it gets into the Colorado River, it is pristine. In fact, it is 1% close to being drinkable. Wow. So we're actually very close with just a little bit of... Crap? Yeah. And plastic. For some reason, people love to put plastic. Look at the uh, food container over here. See the, like this paper plastic. product right here that's coming down the plastic? How does that even fit down the toilet? Uh, we don't even have any idea. It's flushing items that just don't flush. Just don't flush. No feminine no. products? No, yeah. products no feminine products. No feminine products. Yes, none of those. Uh, those just the toilet paper. Just the toilet paper. All right, so we're done in here. Where are we headed next? Well, we're going to go to the operations building. It's actually the heart of our plant, and that's where the pumping goes on, and it's how we get the water sent eventually out to the Colorado River after a little bit more treatment. Right in here. Oh, wow. This is huge. Where are we now? This is actually primary treatment complex two. Okay, so you skim the water in here. We got the grease on the top of the water we got to get rid of. Okay, so we're going to skim the top of the basin for grease. Yes. And then what? Well, after that, we're first going to show you how to get the grease, where to dump it, 
and hose it down. It's very enjoyable. I, I, I really think you're going to enjoy this. It's something you're probably going to want to come back very often and do. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Let's get started. All right. What we want to do is go around the edges and get it cleaned up as much as possible. Just kind of come around, and our pump is directly behind us. So we're kind of moving this product towards the back. You want to try it? Yeah. Just turn this a little bit. Hey. Yeah, we want to get the grease to move towards the back as much as possible while we're pumping it down. I can't do it. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Now we're cleaning. My make, arms are getting tired. Make sure you move it. Come on, you got to do a better job pushing towards the back. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you I was... kind of, now, he's not just cleaning it. There's a process to the whole thing. Our pumping's in the back, so we try to get the product to move towards that way. You're doing good. You're doing good. That's our general job now. Every now and then we have to go down there. The grease will be so bad in here that it doesn't pump out anymore. We actually have to pump out the water. We go down there with shovels and uh, shovel the grease out and pull it up with buckets. I think I'm going to be sick that day. What is that? <laughs> is that a pin or a syringe? You see it? Syringe. What the heck? So yeah, you'll find it in here. That's we, insane. We have to work on our pumps every now and then. And you will find... Look, there's uh, two of them. Here there's and, two uh, of them. Three yeah. of them. That's insane. And those kind of items are just... Don't put them in the toilet. That's really caked up on the bottom. It is. That's all grease. Uh, we'll also get a little tree trimmings. How we get those are the leaves are coming from actually sewer lines out in the field. That's crazy. Got a lot better in the last couple of years, though. Got a hardworking crew with the city of Austin. Oh, yeah. Love yeah. that aroma. Very, very Love aroma. that aroma. Okay. Finish that. Now what? What we're going to do next is where this building pumps out of. It's actually we have uh, eight very large pumps that pump our water out of these bases and up to the next spot. Okay. It's about 30, 40 feet deep. So let's head over there. Let's go. And we'll show you how that works. Okay, let's go. So what do you think of it so far? I loved it. It was a great tour. I it appreciate is. it. I love it. It's just so much fun. This is actually part of the plant I enjoy working at it. Is you it know, because it smells so yeah, good this and is fresh? Why I like them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am happy right here. It's a little chilly outside, but at least it smells it's, good. So it'll change in a day or so. <laughs> that's true. That's true. No, this has been an incredible experience. So we we started off where we went through the screening process and we got all of the paper products and the crap and then organics, we organics organics, organics. Yeah, sorry yeah, sorry sorry <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we went underground and we had the uh the two separate pools there and, and we and the grease too uh, skimmed off the grease down mm -hmm. awesome awesome experience muscles still getting strong <laughs> over that way and then and then here is this the last process this is the last part okay this water is pretty mushy from this point going out to the colorado river Keep in mind, granted, we don't directly drink, it goes through the water plant, but this water will be used for be canoeing, playing in it, swimming, everything will be done in the same water. Cleaning Lady Bird Lake, which I've done. Exactly. <laughs> On the job. No, that's fantastic. What an incredible process. What, what does it take from start to finish, from start to this point right it here? It takes about 12 to 15 hours from the beginning to where we saw in the headworks to this point. Okay. So it's very, not really that long to the point that we're actually 1% to being actually drinkable. That's it's extremely close. Very impressive. Mr. Robert, thank you so much. I've had so much fun out here today. I really appreciate the tour. My pleasure, Ashley. I hope we can do it again sometime. Thanks thank again. Thank you. I'm Ashley Kamrath. I'm out here at the Walnut Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant, and I'll see you next time on the job. Whoa.